doable within Congress. It's the will of the American people. It was brought about in part by the Simpson Bowles Commission, a bipartisan uh, group that did their very best in terms of thinking and pencil sharpening, and they put forward this proposal that was great. And then the president threw the garbage. And uh, uh, you know, this deserves a little bit of reflection because it's, first of all, it's, it's close to what I did as a governor, uh, as a practitioner of tax reform. And it's clearly in line with what this nation can achieve. And it levels the playing field for our business community. It cleans the cobwebs out of our tax code that make it uh, a drag, that make it completely outdated and dilapidated in a 1955 Chevy traveling on a superhighway of the 21st century. <coughs> so that all can be done with the confidence. In the area of higher education, and you know, states can't afford to give as much money to the state schools any longer. So what's happening? They're becoming more and more private in terms of where they're deriving their sourcing from. So they have no choice other than to put more and more of the burden on the students. Uh, I mean, you look at what's happening in California. <coughs> you know, the Golden State, I'm from California originally, uh, and I look at the burden that's put on students, I look at the cuts that are being made in a couple of the finest educational systems in this country, in California, and it's a, it's, a, it's a travesty. So I don't think we have a choice other than to create more opportunities in the marketplace for, uh, for higher ed students. And when I say more in the way of opportunities, we, you know, our, our dream in every family is to push kids toward a, a four-year institution. Go toward a four-year institution as opposed to saying, maybe we need more in the way of community colleges for affordable. Maybe we need more in the way of two-year job training that are closely aligned with our industries of tomorrow, like we did in the state of Utah. We did custom fit training with two-year job training programs and were aligned to some of our industries of growth, aerospace design engineering, biotechnology, information technology, basic manufacturing. So the students who maybe didn't want to go or couldn't afford to go to a four-year institution, they could be involved in a job training program for a couple of years and be perfectly marketable. Good for them and good for the investors, the businesses, who want to plant their manufacturing dollar somewhere. What do they need in order to make that successful? They need a labor force that is well-trained. I mean, that's a critically important component of, of, of manufacturing economics. So I'm convinced that today we, we still don't have enough in the way of options for our students. Um, and, you know, you say four years, four years, four years. A lot of kids get out of four years. They're not employable. Uh, how many, what state unemployment rate among college graduates today? It's really high. It's, it's really high. high. It's really high. A lot of our underemployed, so we don't know the Underemployed, unemployed, same, same problem. Thing, right. We're not getting the level of productivity that this nation deserves for the next generation of brain power. So I think we need more in the way of options that are more focused on job training, uh, on uh, skill development, 